When most people think of mountain goats, they think of open slopes and cliffs high above timberline. But not all mountain goats live above timberline. Some mountain goats live much lower, on steep canyon walls surrounded by forest. We'll call them canyon goats. Same species, just living in a different habitat. In our area, alpine mountain goats live at 5,000 to 6,000 feet elevation, while canyon goats reside at 3,000 feet elevation. This canyon has a small population of about 20 mountain goats. The canyon is only 8 kilometers long, so the goats are very restricted in their movements. These goats live a long way from alpine. The nearest mountain is 48 kilometers away, but there are canyon goats living in other small canyons between this group and the nearest mountain. Studies indicate that most canyon goats live their entire lives within their canyon and do not travel beyond. Canyon goats depend on steep cliffs to stay safe from predators, just like their relatives in the high alpine. But in the canyon, there are forests above and below their cliffs. This mature billy is starting to lose his winter coat around his face and legs. A breeze helps keep mosquitoes, black flies, and noceums away. This goat takes shelter from the rain beneath an overhang. His coat is stained gray from rolling in a dust bath, and most of his winter coat has been shed. Canyon goats have everything they need. There's abundant feed more than available to mountain goats in the high alpine. Canyon goats have trees for shade and cover. The trees intercept snow in winter and make travel easier. The nearby stream provides water and the low elevation means warmer temperatures in winter and less wind than in the open alpine on local mountains. Mountain goats are known to eat over 120 varieties of plants. Canyon goats venture as much as 100 meters on the flat beyond the edge of their canyon to browse. Goats have browsed these balsam fir trees, a favorite in winter. The canyon walls are basalt breccias, old volcanic lava flows from about 25 million years ago. Here you can see where one lava flow found its way through a hole in an older lava flow. The white stains on the black basalt rock are zeolites, a type of mineral salt. Mountain goats in our area need mineral salts in their diet. The lush growth of plants in spring and summer can result in problems with digestion. Mineral salts keep the goats healthy. Luckily, this herd of mountain goats has a mineral lick built in. The goats use their teeth to scrape the salts off the rock, or they will eat fine rock flour from between the rocks and spit out any small rocks. You can tell how important mineral salts are to the mountain goats by seeing how much effort they put into reaching salts on extremely steep rock faces. Mountain goats spend hours eating mineral salts. This goat squeezes into a narrow slot to feed on mineral salts.
When Kenyan goats want to really relax, they'll find a safe spot on a very steep cliff to take a nap, so they don't have to spend all their time worrying about predators approaching. Pellets and hair are common sights along canyon goat trails. Canyon goats make their trails right along the edge of cliffs. The tallest cliff in this canyon is about 400 feet. One disadvantage to living in a canyon is that predators can ambush a goat by hiding in the trees. The bare cliff faces that provide safety for the goats are not continuous, but are separated by shallow gullies. The goats must cross a gully to get from one cliff to the next. The trees in each gully provide predators perfect cover for an ambush. Predators include wolves, coyotes, black bears or grizzlies. The canyon goats have adapted by spreading out along the canyon rather than staying in a single herd. So instead of a herd of five to nine goats that is common for alpine goats who often see just a pair of canyon goats. Mountain goats that live high in the alpine are not directly in danger from forest fires. The smoke to the right of this mountain goat it's a forest fire far below Alpine. You can see that the smoke stays low. But canyon goats live right in the forest, so a forest fire can sweep right over top of their canyon. Smoke from a nearby forest fire shrouds the canyon. Are there other threats to the survival of canyon goats? Yes, logging and mining can take place close to canyons, and that opens up the canyons to more disturbance by recreation and tourism. It's the end of May and time for new life in the canyon. Today is May 30th and we see two nannies with their new kids less than a week old. The two kids have not met yet and are staying close to their mothers. One nanny chases a juvenile goat that gets a little too close to her new kid. The kid in the center shows some good dance moves. One day later, the two kids are now best of friends and sure to get into trouble. We have a smaller kid on the left with its mother and a larger kid in the center with its mother. The goat on the right is a juvenile nanny with no kid.
The nanny on the right doesn't like having the small kid close and flips her head to make the kid move away. The small kid comes too close again, and the nanny has no choice but to move. Now both kids take interest in the young nanny with no kid. The small kid's nanny threads her way through the crowd. She climbs on a rock to try to reach some leaves with no luck. Once again, a kid is too close to the young nanny and this time the nanny decides to move. She doesn't fear the kid. She's trying to avoid the wrath of its mother. It's been an exciting day for a new kid and time for a nap. Kids always feel more comfortable lying on the uphill side of their mother. That's life in the canyon.